All right, so we've got these broccoli sprouts, and I'll link these on the internet so you can see them. That's the brand I use. I've always had a lot of success with them. And you're only going to put maybe for this size jar, I put maybe a tablespoon and a half, two maybe, but uh, you want to pour it in so it covers the bottom. So I'm not actually going to measure these things out. I'm just going to pour it. But you'll get a good idea what it looks like. All this is one-handed, of course. So I go until I don't see glass, pretty much. So this is really close. And again, if you're into measurements, maybe a tablespoon and a half or so. That's usually enough right there. Although it's a little light in the center. I'll put one more splash of seeds in there. Yeah. Okay. So now we got seeds so there's not too much daylight. That's what we're looking for. What you'll do is you'll fill the, this up. Use filtered water. Don't use a chlorine water. Get them wet. Swish them around so they sink. And as you swirl them around, they'll sink to the bottom. And that's about all you need. Then you're going to cover this in the dark. And you're going to wait a day. And then when you come back, you're going to rinse them. And they will start growing and keep them in the dark. You'll keep them covered, uh, put a towel over them or something and keep them covered until about a day before you're ready to use them. And then you pull them out, you put them in the sunlight. And I love these lids. I've had all kinds of different lids, but these little bumps make all the difference. You can stand them up like this and they take a lot less room because normally what happens is you buy the lids that don't have these nubs and you have to lean them against something to drain. So you have to use an entire dish rack to drain these things and it wastes a bunch of space. So this is awesome. It's a great design. I'll link these in the uh, description below. I'll link um, the sprouts I use and these guys. I really like these. Those um, lids make all the difference. Yeah, the lids make it really easy. I'll, I'll put the Amazon links in those so you can check them out. You are going to want to rinse these sometimes twice a day, but once a day will do. They'll grow pretty fast within three or four days you're going to see pretty extreme growth by day five or six the you'll need to take them out or they get so big they lock the jar um, make sure that you turn them upside down and drain them really good with the cap you want the cap make sure they're upside down and drain really well and you want to do this otherwise you will get mold so you've got to drain them really dry before you let them sit all day and put them back in the dark so I wanted to point this out, that if you look real close, if you didn't know better, you'd be like, oh, this is moldy, that the sprout's molded, and it's not. What they are is really, really close. This white powdery stuff is actually little rootlets. When you wet them down, they kind of disappear. Um, this is actually a really healthy sign. That means that the sprouts are growing great. And you'll see how much more packed they are when you lay them on their sides. Uh, I used to grow them you know, sitting upside down and they would clump together at the ends. They just work a lot better on the side. So you can get a better idea here of uh, how green they get. And what we do is, once they are about full size, I still leave them in the jar for about another day and put them up on the windowsill. And you want them to green because it kicks up the chlorophyll level a bunch and it kicks up the nutrients. So. Give them at least a day in the sun before you stick them in the fridge. You can kind of see how rooty these get. And a lot of people don't realize that there's a ton of nutrition in the little roots. So if you're going to juice this or you're going to just throw it and eat it, it's, it's okay to have some roots. It's, uh, it's a ton of nutrition in there. So once these have greened for about a day, you rinse them again and then start pulling them out. Sometimes it can be tough to pull out if they're really... Especially if you didn't grow them on the side, if you grew them on the ends. Remember I told you to lay the jar on the side, they come out a lot easier. If you stand them up and let them grow like that, they turn into a giant clump. This, What's one, your church? Hmm? this one is really quite big. <laughs> yeah, we kind of let this go a day more than we should have in the jar. So, I'm going to separate it and, you know, we're rinsing it in filtered water. And you just kind of spin it around until all the little black husks come up. And it's impossible to get rid of all of them. You just kind of want to minimize it. 
try not to eat the seed husk if you can too much. It does change the flavor. Other than that, we'll show you how to pack them when we're done and how to store them. So we actually switched bowls because that was too small and we went up to our salad bowl. And if you can see the seeds floating to the top, and a lot of times they'll just run out. There's also a way, if you have more lids, like I have a sprouting set that um, has larger mesh, you can screw on one and run water and sometimes get a lot of the seeds to come out in the jar. But the ones I recommend have these little ends so they can stand up, and I think they're just a better design, but unfortunately the mesh is all the same size. So this is what you have to do to clean those. I've used um, plastic ones, which I don't recommend. I actually like the metal ones, even though sometimes they rust. Um, and I've used ones of different sizes where you can switch them in and out with different sprouts. But this stand makes it so you don't have to lean them against like a, um, a dish rack. It saves a ton of room. So we pull these out, let them drip dry the best we can, but they're still a little damp. So you want to put down some sort of napkin to absorb that. And break up the roots the best you can so they're not in just big clumps and they'll actually store longer and be better. You can get about three to four days with this before you need to put them in a bowl and rinse them again. If you keep them moist you can keep them a really long time if you keep washing them. Some people wash them daily. Um, that's too much work for me so this is we usually eat it within four to five days anyway but if you really want to push it if you take them out and rinse them all the time and dry them again, they will just continue to go and give them a little sunlight. And sometimes it helps to have a strainer to get the stragglers. Try to get as many as you can. Ultimately though, it's more work than it's worth. I usually just throw the sprout water into the yard and maybe you get lucky and get a few pieces of broccoli through the year. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky, if not an animal, I'll have more compost. So you get an idea, that's about what it makes. And they are delicious coming out, very chewy. I mean crunchy, sorry not chewy, crunchy. Also, I do want to point out that you can sprout in one giant jar if you want. It's the same technique, the lids fit. So that's why I like it. We can really ramp it up if you want to eat a lot of sprouts. Say you're trying to get um, the anti-cancerous uh, benefits, the sulfolophane. You want to get that up to uh, speed and, and uh, I don't know if you guys, if you haven't researched it, take a look at the uh, research around broccoli sprouts. They're pretty incredible what they can do. Okay, so at the end I also put this over it to suck out water on top. And uh, that'll make this go a lot longer if you can put some paper towels in.